Thank you once again, it's Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I want to show you how you can perform a stepwise regression. Stepwise regression is used in most models, could be time series, panel, or cross section. It's also used in most estimation techniques, ARDL, OLS, GMM, IV, PMG, etc. What does it do? Among others, it shows the single partial effect of the key explanatory variable or variables on the ASCON variable. It also shows if there are changes in the significance of the key explanatory variables as regressors are added. It also shows whether the signs of key explanatory variables change as regressors are added. It helps to avert multicollinearity problem. It also enriches the study by providing more information on factors influencing the behavior of the outcome variable. So let's get started, load your data. If you want to use my data, it's available on my website. The link is in the video description, but it is at a cost. If you are interested, click on the link and you'll be guided accordingly. So I'm using this panel data for the stepwise regression. It's a panel data of 54 countries. Algeria being country 1 and Zimbabwe country 54. Always remember to run this command xtset cid here. Otherwise, data will not execute your panel data commands. So I've done that so I have a strongly balanced panel. So now I can proceed. So now I want to see the direct impact of the regressors on the outcome variable. The outcome variable in this case is the log of GDP. And the four regressors I have I have trade, labor, mobi mobile phones, and fixed telephone wireless all in their log form. I have arranged the command in such a way that by the time it's executed, it comes out in a step-like manner. I will also be exporting the output to Word. So I've highlighted it all. Let me execute. So I have the results here. The output here is written now to my desktop and to a .rtf file. A .rtf file is a word file so i double click on this link so here i have my results on the screen let me adjust a bit so here you have the four you can see here gdp is the ascom variable for the four regressions that's gdp and here you can see each of the regressor is given a direct impact on gdp so trade is negative and significant at the one percent level same thing labor negative significant at 1% level, mobile phone positive, significant at 1% level, fixed telephone subscription also positive at the 1% level. So a stepwise analysis allows me to see the direct impact of each regressor on the ASCOM variable. Next we want to see if the significance of the main explanatory variable changes as regressors are added. So you can see the way I arranged detail. I'm adding regressors to see if the influence of trade will change on GDP. Let's assume trade is my main explanatory variable. So by controlling for labor, mobile phones, and fixed telephone subscription, I want to see whether the impact of trade on GDP will be consistent or whether it will vary. So let me highlight all this and execute. So we have here the output written to a .rtf file on my desktop. I double click on this link here. So here we have the results. And we can see it in a step-like manner. We have trade. In the second equation, we have labor added. In the third one, we have mobile phones added. And in the last one, we have fixed telephone wireless added. Our aim here is to see if the impact of trade on GDP will be consistent across the four models. So you can see that initially trade was significant negative without any other regressor. By the time labor was added, it is still significant and negative at the 1% level. By the time mobile phones was added, it is negative but no longer significant. And by the time we added fixed telephone wireless, 
the impact of trade is completely reversed. It is now positive and still not significant. So a stepwise analysis can easily show you if the impact of a key explanatory variable will be consistent as control variables or regressors are added. So conducting a stepwise analysis has several benefits and it can also spur several discourse and discussion on your analysis. If you want to know more about stepwise analysis, I do a lot of it in my panel data papers. I have two of them here on the screen. I'll put the link in the video description. They're available on my website freely for you to download, or you have to put them in your cart and check out at zero cost. So you can download my paper, see the explanation, and use it also to support your own um, paper that you are writing at the moment. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you for the comments I've received so far across all my videos. Thank you to those who have subscribed and those who have shared my links. If you have not subscribed, please do so. You have a lot to learn from my channel. I try to break down every econometric jargon to the simplest way by which beginners can understand. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.